further in. So can you give a little bit with the head that he doesn't get too strong on the neck? So relax your inside leg. So not too far away with your inside leg. So again, it's important for me as a trainer to look from also from this angle. Is the rider straight? Is the horse straight? Are the leg okay? How does the horse have its tail? How is the ears? You know, look at the picture. Look at the horses. How is the ears? How is the eyes? How, you know, make yourself a picture. Okay, how is my horse reacting to me? What, what is going on? Be smart with the head. Think with the horses. Some told me I talk too much. <laughs> This is good. And shoulder in. This is good. So, this is super. Don't let run away. Really good. So that you can put the leg on softly, but the horse doesn't pull on the head. So, shoulder in again. Doesn't matter. If he gets a bit looky there, take him a little bit of shoulder in. So, and one more time, circle again. The same thing there. If the horse he gets a bit scared, don't just ride past it. Go again. If it's still skin, go to walk, make it slow, don't go faster. This is good, super. Now the canter is starting to get where it needs to be. And then you do a couple of steps, the same as she did, like a couple of shoulder in, and then you do triberis on the long side. It's very good here. Also much better in the neck now, because it's, it's a big horse, so she also needs to keep him in the balance. Big horses sometimes can be a little bit more difficult to keep in the balance. That's good. Super. Not too much sideways. A little bit easier there. The same thing here. Some horses, they like to just throw themselves to the side. But that's because they don't go out to the balance. I only do it so that you see like three legs. The same as shouldering. You see three legs and three legs in the, in the traverse. So this is good. The same thing here again. Get an easy collection without having to put too much pressure on the horse. And straight from the corner. Just make sure that before the corner that you go out and make him straight so that you don't go through the corner in traverse. So, and shoulder in. There, now traverse. Super. Super. And now shoulder in again. Shoulder in. The same thing here. It's nothing that's saying that we have to do it 60 meters. I know that with the, with the instructor, if they say shoulder in, you ride shoulder in an hour. Until the instructor tells you now you have to do something else. Ah. Okay, now we'll do something else. Variated with the horses. Super. That's really good. Super in the neck now too. And you also see he's getting a bit better in the mouth. He's getting much more like starting to chew. And now you do a couple of steps shoulder in. And then we do the hop pass. Super here. Very nice in the neck. Shoulder, outside rein. Don't pull too much on the inside rein. Outside rein, outside rein, outside. Slow. That's really good. And straight, go uh, counter, canter, no change. So the same thing is here. When you start doing, when the horses are a little bit higher in the classes, try to avoid doing the changes too close to the corners. Because what happens when you do the changes too close to the corners is that the horse throws itself. And we try to keep the horse straight. But if you come here and you're gonna do a change, what will the horse see? The horse will see you guys and he will jump to this side or that side. But it will always be a throw change. Instead of doing it this direction, when the horse has a big space and it can do a clean straight change. Super. This is really good, not yet. So next long side you do then a change and then we do the shoulder and the half pass this direction as well. It's a very good canter here. Sit back, straight, contra bend a little bit for him now. So, ho, no, no, that doesn't matter. Back again to walk. That doesn't matter. Ho, and counter canter again. <coughs> so, a little bit bending to the right. So when I do changes, I like to have a little bit of a contra bend. The reason why I like to have a little bit of contra bend from the counter canter is that the horse then can't jump to the inside. Super. If you have it very much bent to the outside, it's the same when I teach them the changes. When you then change, they jump to the inside. But if you have them a little bit contra bend and you do the change, you keep the shoulder in place and the horse jumps straight into the change. So this is really nice. Super. Outside, don't pull too much on the inside ring, huh? So, there. This is good. Shoulder in, shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. The same thing there. If your horse is looking a bit, don't... If the horse looks at you guys, which they will do, don't look, let them look at this direction. Put them in shoulder in, let them look in this direction. 